Being a parent, anyone who's a parent, that's training. Because kids and patients, late night, you're here. What did he say? Imagine you can't throw the child against the wall. You have to come down, bro. There was a day I left my brother with my son, and I came back. His top was off. He was sweating. Can you be a kind of And he walked away. I was like, say, my son broke him. So having children trains you. Being in a relationship is an extreme sport. <laughs> Being in a relationship is an extreme sport. So um Chowdo will train you. Um, Starting businesses, that balancing act. So I admire someone like Jacob Zoom. I think just the way he's lived his life in politics, been criticized, having different wives, having different kids, you're forced to accept criticism. And at some point, you, you don't feel it as much. I think like a boxer, when my hits, on a sour couples also, they say, Kali, but the rest, you're like, I will cry. So, Indulge in life, but be aware that I'm trying to train my mind. And the things that you're scared of, do them, but manage them. Do them slowly so that you're strong. Because we are all emotional beings. It's just some of us react differently. There are people in my life, like my brother, who catch feelings when they say, see people talking shit about me on socials. You know, I just laugh. Forget this. I would enjoy that. Then you'll tweet there. You must come say this to my face. And I, Calm down, bro. No one has time for that. That's who be a student at TUT or HDA. A fat black pen, piece of shit. <laughs> Andrew Pinson is here, like I'm saying that to his face. So just train your mind. But emotions will affect you. It's just how you bounce back. Yeah. So we've got two more. So, Ashley? Yeah. Nice to meet you. This based on your conversation, Mr. Nguyen, Mr. Abba. Abba, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. So in your transition, you so you spoke about privilege. So I want to ask you, as I was growing up, you are pretty privileged, and Mr. Abba also was privileged. privileged. Yeah. So do you think privilege and having access when growing up brings adversity? Adversity. Yeah. Challenge. Confusion. Yeah. Because with Mr. Abba, sure. he grew up well, but sure. he just couldn't get the treat, and he was lost in. <laughs> Gotcha. That's what led him to the search, going through bodies, system, belief sure. systems, a lot. Just that kind of confusion. No, privilege can definitely do that. Um, is the short answer to your question. What struggle does, um, struggle gives you a purpose. If you grow up in a squatter camp, your purpose in life is to get your family out into a cast. If you grow up in a cast, your ambition in life is to get out and move to the suburbs. If you live in the suburbs, you've seen people at mansions, your ambition is to, you know. The black people during apartheid, their purpose became uh, overthrowing the apartheid government, and that became their struggle. Today we speak about economic, the economic struggle and not what. What privilege, specifically financial privilege does, is it takes away struggle. And it leaves you without a purpose. That's why so many kids of rich people take drugs, some commit suicide. I want to in Silicon Valley, for example, a lot of the kids of millionaires and billionaires take their lives. And you're like, Ajahn. They don't have a purpose. It's a, it's a condition called the existentialism, where you can't figure out why am I here. The poor kid, when you ask why you're here, that's the driving factor. My time was in, in prison and I was positive to the youth. But if it's like you come from, well, my parents have six cars. We live in a mansion. My parents give me 10,000 red pocket money a month. I don't know, maybe let me snort some coke. I don't know, bro. Fuck. And they get up to doing shit because they don't know what to do. And I think, I, I'm not speaking for Abba, I'm speaking as a general. I think because of the privilege he had, he also probably started on a journey of being like, why am I here, what am I doing? And it's a journey he's been on, and luckily it's led him to a good path where he is now. Most other people really struggle. And it's one of the things many of us need to be worried about if we ever get to a point where we have money. Don't steal your child's struggle. Whatever that struggle may be, don't overcompensate. My dad wasn't around, therefore I'll give you everything. No, your dad not being around was not great, but you are strong today because you had to learn to do things yourself. Be present, support, but let your child also earn. Let them know 
would say, say, I want this car. Like, my dad said, if you can get 30% of the money, I'll put the 70. So, as much as my dad funded it, I also had to hustle for it. My mom pays for my flat, for example, at UCT. But she doesn't pay for the electricity and whatnot. She said, go get a job, hustle, do something. It can't be that way, NJ. Everything out is smooth. If you take away someone's struggle, they are left with nothing. The whole point of life, to be honest, is struggle. How do I move from 85 subscribers to 850 to 8,005? That's a struggle. Go through it, Siswami. Like, make more videos. Your content sucks. I see your audio. So you work through it. But when you've got everything, what now? 